Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Hello and welcome back. We are going to be doing some work outside today. It is really nice out here. It's probably about 70 to 75 degrees. There is a really nice breeze blowing. Um, it's almost a tad chilly, but I think once I get working, it'll be just fine. I got this gigantic, glorious hat at the grocery store today. Um, they just had like an end cap with them, so I dug to the bottom for one that hopefully nobody else had tried on yet. And, uh, and I really like it. The brim is huge. It's kind of one of those situations where you better not be too close to the door when you go to open it, it'll knock your hat off. Robert and I both actually really like wearing these wide brimmed hats while we're outside working just because, especially in the summertime, the sun gets so intense here. And having that extra shade on the back of your neck and on your head just really, really makes a big difference. And I like these ones too because they breathe really well, better than like a baseball cap or anything like that. So. Anyway, I'm glad to have another hat that I can abuse all summer. Usually they only make it one summer with me. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So I think what we're gonna do today is the lawn is just out of control. So we're gonna go ahead and mow. We'll take a look at the grass seed that we put down and see if that is coming up. And then once I get everything mowed that I can with the riding lawn mower, I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna use the uh, propane torch and we'll do some weed burning to kind of help with weed control. We try not to use any crossbow or Roundup or anything like that, um, but we do have to do some kind of weed prevention here because the driveway is starting to get taken over. So I think we'll try the weed torch this year. I've never used it for that before, but I've seen lots of people do it. So I think that will be the route that we try. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go in the greenhouse. My Crocs are in there. I'm gonna go ahead and get my Crocs on and we'll get started. The grass seed that we put down right in front of the shop, it's just as you come onto the property, right there you can see it's green and fuzzy, it's starting to come up. We don't actually have any rain in our forecast for the next 10 days, so I went ahead and turned the sprinkler on this. We're gonna do our best to try and keep it, keep it damp. Um, it didn't germinate as well as I had hoped. Hopefully it'll fill in a little bit more um, if we keep that moist, but it'll be difficult not having any rain in the forecast too to keep this damp, so, but we'll do our best. So I decided to just keep working on the grass. Um, the thing is that I think some of it's not sprouting because it's not staying damp enough, which in this case we probably should have put down like a mulch or something over top of it, maybe some straw or some uh, hay or something. Uh, we kind of thought maybe we should do that, but we had so much rain in the forecast um, that we, we hoped it would be okay. However, where we live, it is not humid at all. And so when it rains, everything dries up really fast because there's just not any humidity in the air um, and it's really dry here. We did get quite a bit sprouted, but I'm gonna go ahead and now put down a little bit more seed. And then what I did was I used the lawnmower. We let the grass get really tall. So I used the lawnmower and kind of mowed in a circle until I had all the clippings kind of in one area. Um, and I've got all those clippings picked up and I'm gonna actually just use the grass clippings as a mulch. Hopefully putting down the grass seed, keeping that nice and damp, I'll be watering it every day for the next couple weeks. 
um, and then also having some grass clipping mulch over the top of it hopefully that'll get us sprouting a little bit better so I'm gonna go ahead and get working on that I have my bucket my tractor bucket is full of grass clippings um, and I have some seed in my spreader here so I'm gonna get started doing that oh, muscle tight, early light, on say my name I'll say it twice Well, I am pooped. I'm tired. I got this whole area behind me reseeded and I put grass clippings on top of it, which is very labor intensive. <laughs> Robert's got the water going on it for me. He drug the hose over here and the sprinkler and we'll get that soaked down really good tonight. Hopefully it'll sprout in the next couple weeks and we'll get some good grass going there. It kind of looks like there's already grass because of the, because <laughs> of the grass clippings. So at least that's helpful. So good morning. So today we're going to attempt to do one of the projects that we were going to start yesterday. Um, that is the burning of the weeds with the flame torch. So we have a couple of scenarios going on in our driveway here. One is just the full on like clumps of grass and dandelions. The other, however, is kind of the more problematic one. I'm not sure what kind of uh, weed this is but it grows from like a really small root but then it spreads out to the size of about four dinner plates and it reroots as it goes um, so it can spread really wide so part of the problem is when it grows over the driveway like that it's really bad about harboring gnats so if you step on it this pile of gnats come up um, and it's really frustrating because gnat season is already bad enough around here that it's hard to keep them out of the house and whatnot. And then when you have the entire driveway in front of the house covered in a grass that's really good about harboring gnats, that makes that that much worse. So mostly today we're gonna tackle that first. I wanna get a hold on this weird, creeping, grassy, mossy looking stuff before it gets out of control. So we're gonna focus on that first on the driveway. And then just depending on how much we're able to get done, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the line of the driveway all the way down. So you can see here behind me, the grass is kind of growing into the driveway. And I just wanna push that back a little bit with the weed burner and keep it from taking over the driveway, um, hopefully for the rest of the summer. But one upside to where we live is because we don't get much rain, mostly what grows will be what gets watered. So. I'm thinking if I get all of the grasses and weeds killed off the driveway early, then hopefully they'll stay under control for the rest of the summer. Like I mentioned before yesterday, I've never used the flame torch for weed control, but I've seen lots of other people do it. So we're gonna give it a shot and see how it works. So enough talking, let's get started. All right, so that project is done. It took me pretty much all day to get that finished up. I did all of the area of the driveway in front of the house, which that's a pretty big area. Um, and then I went up the driveway. I went just past the first access to the pole barn. So like I said, it's really time consuming. It does work really well. I'm hoping the weeds will not come back, but I am done with that project for now. I might do some more later on, but um, other projects, 
have my attention at the moment. So anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join us. Take care and we'll see you soon.